October 16, 1859. John Brown's body lies a moldering in the grave, but his soul goes marching on. An incident that brings America closer to civil war. Abolitionist John Brown leads a raid on a federal arsenal in Harper's Ferry in what's now West Virginia, hoping to spark a slave revolt. Brown later surrenders and is executed. 1793. During the French Revolution, Queen Marie Antoinette, who is said to have told France's starving people, let them eat cake, is beheaded. 1978. The Roman Catholic Church chooses its first non-Italian pope in more than 450 years. He is Polish Cardinal Karol Wojtyła, who takes the name of John Paul II. 1973. American Henry Kissinger and North Vietnam's late Duc Tho are awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. They are honored for negotiating a ceasefire in the Vietnam War, but Lay declines the award, saying he can't accept it because the Vietnamese don't have peace. 1998. In London, British police arrest Chile's former dictator Augusto Pinochet. They detain him for questioning about the allegations that he had murdered Spanish citizens during his years in power. Pinochet eventually returns to Chile, but he faces investigations and court cases there until he dies eight years later. 1916. Margaret Sanger opens the first birth control clinic in Brooklyn, New York. She is later arrested and serves 30 days in jail after police raid the clinic. 1987. End of a 58-and-a-half-hour drama in Midland, Texas. That's where rescuers free Jessica McClure, an 18-month-old girl trapped in an abandoned well. And 1997, novelist James Michener, whose South Pacific tales inspired a Broadway musical, dies in Austin, Texas. Today in History, October 16th, Tim McGuire, The Associated Press.